Hello, this is Vampire. For today's lesson, I'm going to go ahead and continue on from the last lesson. We're going to go ahead and build upon what we did. Okay, uh, these are my new sticks from RW. I need to test them out, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use them in this video too, because I need to use them as much as possible here. So, all right, the first one is, this is the template, if you remember. For, well, first with the right hand, then we're going to go with the left hand. So the right hand does two strikes. Okay, one and two, left hand one and two. The right hand is a diagonal strike and then a diagonal strike coming back the same trajectory. Okay, left hand, one and two. So nice and simple enough. One, two, one, two. So this is our template. This is what we build upon and we modify. All right, so the first modification I want to make in this video is you're going to throw a fake and then go one, two. Fake, one, two. Fake, one, two. Fake, one, two. Okay, so very simple. Okay, very simple. It's that nice fake hit. They think it's going to be this one, and that's where you fake them out, and the backhand comes in. One and two. This fake right here, and one, two. Okay, fake, and then one and two right there. What's nice about this is when you fake, it's your lead hand. Okay, it's the lead side right here. This is the side that's in front. This fakes, and then you have time to come in with that power strike and power strike back. And now this one is in the front and this one fakes and it's this one comes in right there. All right, so the next one I wanna go into, the next exercise is going to be one, two, three, back, one, two, three, back. One, two, three, back, one, two, three, back. So let me break it down a little bit. Right here, you're making three circular motions. One, two, and then on number three, you continue the motion and it comes back here, and then you come back with a strike, a swing, all right? Again, one, two, and three on the left arm, and then swing back, and then you switch arms. One, two, three, back, one, two, three, back. Notice that my circles aren't huge circles, okay? They're small controlled ones. They're one, two, and three, except number three needs to follow through to park it, okay? One, two, and three, and back. One, two, and three, and back. All right. The other thing is right here, one, two, and then number three continues, okay? And they think I'm done. That's when I return. This is, a, this is that swing. This is a solid strike right here, okay? The idea here is like a boxer on a speed bag or a boxer uh, throwing his jabs, okay? It's like bah, bah, bah. It's three hits. One, two, three. One, two, three. So if you could keep that in mind, very controlled, small circles right there, that's exactly what we're doing. So that's the mentality to have for this exercise. The next one I want to go into, all right, it's going to be one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, so let's break it down. All right, it's a diagonal strike. This is normal, like we've been doing. And then from here, I'm going to use the momentum here to unwind and go into a figure eight motion to park the stick onto my shield, my arm right here. So it parks right here. And then once again, I'm using momentum to come straight out and back up. So this is an extreme angle right here. Okay, you see that? So from here, from this tucked position, bam, you see that? Very extreme angle. So now on the left, the left side, same thing, okay, diagonal, you're very familiar with this, unwrap into a figure eight that parks, okay, this is a figure eight, if it didn't park, it would keep going, that's a figure eight, but it parks right on the arm right here, okay, it parks, and then from here, I'm going to unwind, and that extreme angle again, so from here, it goes out and up, so let's do that again, okay, diagonal, figure eight, and extreme, okay? Diagonal, figure eight, and extreme. Diagonal, figure eight, and extreme. Diagonal, figure eight, and extreme. All right, so the next one, the last one that we're gonna do is the hardest out of all of them, okay? Out of the ones in this video so far, okay? It is the hardest, so if you can't do it, don't get discouraged. Just go back and spend more time with the other ones and as you get better, it'll open doors for you and maybe you'll be able to do this one 
as uh, time goes by. Okay, so don't get discouraged, all right? Uh, this one right here, it's going to look like this. Okay, figure eight motion, okay, and boom. Figure eight motion, boom. Okay, one, two, three, back, one, two, three, back. All right, so what I'm doing here, figure eight motion here, I'm continuing with another figure eight into an abanico, and then I park. Okay, one, two, three, boom, boom, and park. All right, let's break it down. Figure eight from the top. This is a top side figure eight. So from here, as I'm coming down with momentum, I continue that into a figure eight. See that? So I could keep going, but as I come here, one, two strike, and then on number three, I park. Once I park from here, I'm gonna start a figure eight, once again, from the top side, like this. See, it's coming from the top. I'm hitting from the top right here, okay? And I continue that motion into an abanico right here. See, this, uh, this gives me the momentum to, to park now. Okay, so from here, I get to add a circular motion. Helps me park. So again, on the left side, same thing. Starting off with a figure eight from here. I'm coming down with a figure eight strike. It goes one, two, and number three, I park. From here, I'm going to start a figure eight from the top again like this. It comes here as I'm unwinding, and I continue that motion into an abanico strike right here. So from here, I, I rebound, and I park up. You see that? So it goes one, two, three, boom, boom, and up. One, two, three, unwind, abanico, and park. Okay, one, two, three. Unwind, abanico, and park. 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 All right, so thank you for watching, and take care, folks.